Hi, welcome to my studio. I'm Francis. You can see me on Google under Sevit Francis. Over the years, I've produced hundreds of paintings in different styles and techniques. I decided to share with you my knowledge and my experience in designing highly detailed pictures in the Romantic style. In these short videos, I will walk you through the many stages needed to achieve this effect. To make a composition, collect all your photos in advance. Stage 1. Make a list of items for the designing of the picture. From internet photos or ladies magazines or personal photos. So the first thing I need are ladies in different poses, sitting or standing. Then I'm going to need the interior of a restaurant or a classical building with the windows, the doors, the wall decoration, lamps, chandeliers, or any other architectural item. Then I'm going to need an outdoor landscape that you can see through the window. It might be trees, fields, sky, bridge, castle, or anything interesting. Then, most of all, what I need are a lot of ornamental objects. So I like to use Tiffany lampshades, a decorative vase, a fruit bowl, flower arrangement, an embroidered tablecloth, candles, a chandelier maybe, a book, our uh, musical instruments. Then I go on to stage two. I download these items to a file. So I have many to choose from. And then I change the proportions in order to have all the features in the right size from large to small or from small to large to enhance the perspective. And then I print what I have chosen. Outline of the landscape and I want to reduce it in size. So I've made a contour drawing of it by copying it. I lay it onto the computer, go to resize and reduce the size to about 50%. And that's it. Now I have it printed out to use. Now I have all my photos. I copy the printouts of the items onto transparent paper. I try to make the objects in the front larger than in real life. At the same time, I exaggerate the lady in front. My formula being that she be at least one third of the frame. Uh, I use the resize on the scanner to change the size of the objects. But now that I've collected all the features, making minor changes as needed. I scan the outline composition and transfer to the computer using import from the Photoshop file or sending it by email and uh, retaining it in a, in a separate file. So then I prepare the sketch to be screened onto a prepared canvas. I now have my sketch on the computer and I print out a few copies of the contour and then I want to make plans on what color scheme to use. So I have my colored pencils and I start uh, filling in and making different color combinations so that I will have to choose from the one that looks the best. This is stage four where I transfer the sketch to the canvas. So there are several options. Option one, use a projector connected to the computer and cast the drawing onto the canvas and outline. Another option is if you don't have a projector, just go to a shop that has a large photocopier that the architects use and have them enlarge it onto transparent paper. And then using copy paper, you can transfer it uh, to the canvas. Uh, yeah, so now I'm uh, taking the preliminary sketch uh, after enlarging it and I have it on uh, transparent paper and before I transfer it to the canvas 
I have to go over the lines on the wrong side of the paper with the charcoal. When I finish uh, outlining everything in charcoal, then I will flip the paper back and put it on my canvas and with a fine pen I will transfer the whole drawing um, with uh, redrawing it over the lines and the charcoal will be transferred onto the canvas by then.